Well, welcome back. The month of May is Better Hearing Month, and to celebrate, Penny Barron decided this would be a great time to look in my ear this morning. I'm actually a little nervous about this. You're an, audi an audiologist with the Austin Diagnostic Clinic. Thank you for coming and bringing all of this equipment. You're welcome. So, why is ear health so important? People don't even think about that, really. I don't. Well, it's something that we don't think about. We just take it for granted. But hearing is something that you really have to have measured in order to know how you're hearing. You can't really tell how you're hearing just by how you're functioning day to day. Mm -hmm. So we really recommend that everyone have a baseline evaluation and see how they're hearing. After that, if we do find that there's a decrease in hearing, we recommend that you follow up annually. Okay, so when you go to just the regular doctor and they, they put the, the tool in your ear, is that really checking your ear? What are they, what are they checking They're for? They're really just looking. Like, we're going to look in your ear here in a few minutes, and we're going to see what the inside of your ear looks like. But it doesn't really tell them anything about how you actually hear. Got it. And so if someone were to go to get their ears checked out, this is what they would go through? This is the first step. Okay. Would be having their ears looked in, making sure the ear looks good. Mm -hmm. And then from there, we would go into actually doing the evaluation and having you listen to beeps, listen to words, and um, actually recording how all that looks. Okay. If you're ready, uh, I'm ready. <laughs> well, let's take a look in your ear and see how it looks. You'll be able to see it up here on the screen. Okay. So... I should have warned people, if you're eating breakfast, you might want to hold off on that. <laughs> so there's the inside of your ear. Down, wow. um, we see a little bit of wax. Wax is normal. You do want to have some wax in your ear. But we also see your eardrum down there. So everything here looks good. That's not too much wax, because that looks like a lot of wax. No, it is not too much wax. So if we do the same thing with this ear, we can... Again, see that there's a little bit of wax in there. We can also see the eardrum down there. So you're supposed to have some wax in your ear. Mm -hmm. Wax is actually a good thing. It actually keeps um, dirt from getting down on the eardrum. So you do want to have some wax in your ear so that it can do its job. Mm -hmm. And it does work its way out naturally. So there's nothing that you need to do in order to remove it. Mm -hmm. So if I came to see you, you'd say everything looks, looks pretty good? Yep. At this first stage, and then we'd move on to actually evaluating your hearing and seeing how you're hearing. Mm -hmm. I think the million dollar question is how do you properly clean your ear because everyone grabs the q-tips and you hear you know don't do that but people do well as my mother always said you never stick anything smaller than your elbow in your ear so you really don't need to do anything to clean your ear other than just wipe out the outside of the ear okay got it um I think we are running out of time. We've got to wrap it up. But thank you so much for, uh, you, I, I was a little nervous going into this. I cleaned <laughs> my ears for you last night. <laughs> so I really, really appreciate it. It's very good information for, uh, for people. All right, David, uh, you are next this morning. <laughs>